God damn it's hip hop and it's breaking news Not another dead rapper cause another ghetto lose I'm trying to build, hit the chat, we just swap facts Get a rich, block control with the soul cap Nobody know I'm nigga going, John Doe is tagged Tyron Multi Yo what's goody, what's goody people Welcome back to another one 50 Cent being on it in Connecticut It's pretty dope Let's get into it 50 Cent has been on it with his own day in Hartford, Connecticut, which he has been given prior to performing in the city. On Friday, August 11th, the same day as the 50th anniversary of hip hop, the G Unit mogul was presented with a certificate declaring August 11th as 50 Cent Day in Connecticut by the state's governor. Ned Lamont Ned Lamont What type of name is Ned Lamont? God damn Your first name and your last name jacked up I'll be mad at my mama and my daddy Ed Lamont <laughs> Nah but this is big for uh 50 Cent And I can see why Connecticut have close ties with 50 Cent when 50 Cent first signed his record deal with Shady Aftermath, when he first linked up with Eminem and Dr. Dre, they definitely wanted to get him out of New York City. You heard? They wanted to get him as far away from New York City to keep him safe and make those hit records, but keep him close where he go run back home and conduct business so um i can see why they love 50 cent in connecticut the legendary brooklyn champ of the world iron mike tyson lived in connecticut the greatest boxer of all time arguably some will tell you that's muhammad ali hands down Hands down. The rope of dope, all that, yeah. Rumble in the jungle and all that, yeah. Ali. But Mike Tyson did it for the hood, man. I don't. Mike Tyson did it for the slums. For the voiceless. Tyson represented the hip hop generation. Those of us that come from the inner city. And. When 50 Cent got on, Mike Tyson was actually on a decline. I think Mike Tyson filed for bankruptcy around that time and he had to sell his Connecticut mansion. Guess what? 50 Cent bought Mike Tyson mansion. Swimming pools, basketball courts, bowling alley, movie theaters nightclub inside of the house yeah connecticut definitely love 50. 50 cent final lap tour continued on friday on the hip-hop 50th birthday where he took over hartford connecticut for another energetic show Following a pair of dates in Brooklyn. Pretty dope, man. I love this, man. I love hip hop. I, I love the history of the culture, right? And all of our legends and greats, kings and queens that help play a part in this history. The Queen's icon has plenty of history in Connecticut as he spent a portion of his career living in the state after purchasing Mike Tyson estate for $4 million after the boxing legend reportedly declared bankruptcy. See, I just said that. And I promise you, I did not uh, read this article before pressing record. You heard? 
I'm just a New York City uh, hip hop baby. This is what I do. I know my history. You can't say you of the culture if you don't know the culture. You just can't do it. The mansion has plenty of room for guests outside of 50 who could essentially host a football team in the 52 room home with 21 bedrooms and 25 bathrooms of his choosing. The 50,000 square foot estate <clears throat> came equipped with a hot tub, pool, indoor basketball court, game rooms, and recording studio. It's been a busy summer for 50, and while he's checked off a ton of boxes on his bucket list, he still got at least one more left in recording a record with Lil Wayne, which recently dropped, I believe. If I'm not mistaken, I think I just heard a new 50 Cent in Lil Wayne song. I know I... um seen Lil Wayne perform at the Hip Hop 50th and it made me Google Lil Wayne to check up on him. Maybe I didn't see it, but I think I did. <laughs> That's a whole fact. Despite having never released music together, Fifth noted that he actually hit the road with the New Orleans rap legend early on in his career. Yeah, I remember that. The Cash Money Rough Riders tour back in 2020. <clears throat> no, not 2020. I'm bugging. Back in 2000. <laughs> I said 2020. That's three years ago. The 40 City Arena tour was headlined by DMX, Juvenile and Eve also featured Lil Wayne Swiss Beats, Deluxe Big Thomas, BG Dragon and Turk a young 50 Cent however was merely the opening act wow that's hip hop history people hip hop history people don't know I was on the Cash Money Rough Riders tour before they opened the curtains. <laughs> that nigga said before they opened the curtains. Yeah, I was on stage before they opened the curtains and began the damn show. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Shout out to 50 Cent, man. This is a good look. 50 Cent being on it in Hartford, Connecticut, people. 50 being on it in Hartford, Connecticut. This is pretty dope. Congratulations to him. Congratulations to hip-hop in general. Happy birthday. Happy 50th. Please subscribe. Please hit the notification bell. Please drop some comments. And please share this out on your other social media platforms. Peace. God damn it's hip hop and it's breaking news Not another dead rapper cause another ghetto news I'm trying to build, hit the chat, we can swap facts Get a wrench, block control with the store cap Nobody know him nigga gone, John Doe is tagged Tyron Motif